So in Japan, we believe there's a you know great opportunities also in the public sector. Uh, you know, Japan is one of the yeah. leading democracies in Asia. Uh, you know, there's also many potential geopolitical tensions in the region, and we believe that the Japanese government is working towards upgrading its, its infrastructure, including the defense sector. Uh, our company is working closely with the defense space in Japan. We have discussions with the Ministry of Defense and other uh, key partners. Our company, in fact, also participated in a high-profile competition that's organized, co-organized by the U.S. Department of Defense and the Ministry of Defense called the U.S.-Japan Innovation Challenge. And out of 60 global participants, Sakana AI was one of the three winners of the Innovation Award. We've been developing uh, technology to combat uh, some of the proposals, including uh, biosecurity, you know, like a modeling, uh, what happens if there's another pandemic in Japan. And also the, another key area that the government cares about is disinformation. Uh, how to recognize uh, uh, fake news or fake images, images that were generated using AI on, on social media, and how to uh, you know, develop a system to contextualize uh, this, uh, this information campaigns. So these are two examples that uh, we have worked on uh, in recent RFP competitions and have won. And we're actually quite excited to continue working with the government's uh, sector right. in not just the defense area, but overall in you know, the public sector institutions, again, on making these institutions run more efficiently using AI technology. How would you assess Japan's position in this AI technology, AI race? Uh, you know, we often talk about the AI race between the U.S. and China. Um, do you think Japan is getting there in terms of, you know, figuring out the need to cultivate its own AI system? Is that why you wanted to make this AI company in Japan for Japan? Yes, exactly. Uh, this is a core mission of this company. You know, when I started this company with my co-founders 18 months to two years ago, uh, the the realization is like you know most. Uh most of us in our company started off as researchers at U.S.-based companies like Google and DeepMind. Uh, but you know, being in Japan, we recognize that this country needs to upgrade its infrastructure. Most of the AI and tech te uh, technology is developed either in the U.S. or China. And we really wanted to build a company in Japan for Japan. Japan is a leading industry. You know, it's currently the fourth largest economy in the world. We believe it has the capacity to stimulate its own economy, to develop its own AI infrastructure. And this company is really, you know, uh, the goal is to spark a catalyst. It cannot just be us. We need to work with Japan to develop the ecosystem, uh, to bring in the, also the talents as well, to come to Japan, to develop the AI technology here. Uh, I think one of the benefits for Japan is actually, you know, we can attract many you know, talented people from all over the world. You know, as you know, Japan is a top tourist destination. Uh, many foreigners or even, you know, from all over the world like to travel to Japan. And we're actually taking advantage of that. And our company, uh, half of our staff is Japanese, but half of our staff is also foreign research talents who have chose to come to Japan to work for us in Japan. So I think, you know, uh, it's, it's a challenging to always, uh, of course, to start a startup in Japan, but there are many benefits uh, as well, which uh, our company is trying to take advantage of.